Now the P stands for parentheses and other grouping symbols. Because if you remember from pre-algebra, there were parentheses, we had the, the brackets, which is a grouping symbol. We also had the square roots and uh, absolute values. And those are considered grouping symbols and they fall under the parentheses category. Okay, and then our next thing is E for exponents. Okay, we just reviewed that. Now, the next part is MD. Now, a lot of people uh, get this wrong in that they think that this says do multiplication before division. That's not what it says. There's only four parts here. Parentheses, exponents, and then multiplication and divisions. But you've got to do these operations working left to right, whichever comes first working left to right, okay? And the last part is addition and subtraction. Again, addition and subtraction is done working left to right, whichever comes first, okay? Yep, okay, we're doing order of operations. Let's get started right there. Order of operations. First, when we're simplifying an expression, we perform the operations within the parentheses. Now, the first category in order of operations refers to parentheses, but there's actually other types of grouping symbols that fall in this category. In this course, we're only talking about parentheses up to this point. We're gonna disregard the other types of grouping symbols. We'll get to those later. So for now, the first thing you do is perform the operations within the parentheses. So let's look at a problem here. 6 subtract the quantity, 4 subtract 1. Notice 4 subtract 1 is in the parentheses, 4 subtract 1 is 3, and bring down our work. Now when you subtract a positive number, the parentheses are not required. So we'll just write it as 6 subtract 3, which is 3, and that's your answer. Let's take a look at this one. 8 subtract 4 plus 1. Notice the sum of 4 and 1 is in the parentheses, so we'll simplify that first. That's 5. Bring down our work. And again, since we're subtracting a positive 5, we don't require to have those parentheses. So 8 subtract 5 is 3. Now notice we have two sets of parentheses first. So we have to simplify the expressions within the parentheses. 4 subtract 7 is negative 3. 5 plus 1 is 6. Now on the first number, we don't require those parentheses around that negative 3. And because we're subtracting a positive 6, we do not require the parentheses around that 6. So it turns into negative 3 subtract 6, which is negative 9. Now our second category in order of operations is to simplify any numbers that have exponents. In our last video, we talked about exponents. So here we have 6 subtract 3 squared. We have to simplify the exponent part, which is 3 squared, and 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. We bring down our work. 6 subtract 9 is a negative 3. Here we have 6 subtract 3 raised to the second power. We have parentheses. So before we evaluate the exponent, we have to simplify the expression within the parentheses. And 6 subtract 3 is 3. Notice we have a positive 3 squared. When we have a positive number raised to an exponent, it's not required we have the parentheses. We write 3 squared. And 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. Here we have 7 plus 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. Bring down your work. 7 plus 4 is 11. There we go. We have parentheses, exponents. Now our third category is multiplication and division. So third, perform multiplication and division in order working left to right, whichever comes first. So notice with this expression, we have a division and a multiplication. Notice the division comes first when you work left to right. So you have to perform the division before you do multiplication. 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. That is the correct answer. Now here we have a multiplication and division. Multiplication comes first working left to right. So we perform that operation first. 6 times 3 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Now over here, we have parentheses, a division, an addition, and an exponent. Well, we have to work the parentheses first. 5 plus 3, and that's an 8, and we bring down our work. Now, we're going to evaluate the exponent. That's 2 squared, which is 2 times 2, which is 4, and now we bring down the work. We don't require those parentheses around that first 8. Now we have division and multiplication. Notice division comes first, working left to right. So 8 divided by 4 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. And that is our correct answer there. Now, we have parentheses, exponents, Multiplication division, working left to right. 
And now we have the fourth step. Fourth, perform addition and subtraction in order, working left to right, whichever comes first. And those are all four categories of the order of operations. So let's look at this problem. Notice we have a subtraction and an addition. Working left to right, subtraction comes first. So we must perform that operation first. 6 subtract 3 is 3, and 3 plus 2 is 5. There you go. Here we have an addition and subtraction, but addition comes first, working left to right, and therefore we perform that operation first. That gives us 9 subtract 2, which is 7. Now up here we have parentheses, a subtraction, an addition, and an exponent. And so we have to perform the parentheses first. 5 plus 3, that gives us 8, and we'll bring down our work. Now we have to perform the exponent, that comes next. 2 squared is 2 times 2, that's 4. We bring down our work. Notice we don't require that parentheses around the 8. Now we have subtraction and addition. Remember we have to work left to right, whichever comes first, with addition and subtraction. Since the subtraction comes first, we perform that operation first, and that's 8 subtract 4, 4 plus 4, and our answer is 8. Okay, so our order of operations, our four categories, are parentheses and other grouping symbols, exponents, multiplication, division, working left to right, whichever comes first, and addition and subtraction, working left to right, whichever comes first. That's your order of operations. So here's a problem here. Notice, we have parentheses. So we'll do that first. 5 plus 3 is 8, and we'll bring down a work. Now, we're done with our parentheses. Remember, we don't require those parentheses around that positive 8. We have exponents. 2 squared. 2 times 2 is 4. Let's bring down our work. Now we have a division and multiplication, but division comes first, working left to right. Therefore, we perform division. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Bring down our work. And here we have a subtraction and a multiplication. Multiplication must be done before subtraction. So we have 1 times 3, which is 3. Bring down your work. And now, 8 subtract 3 is 5, and that is our final answer there. Okay, let's go to this one here. Notice we do not have any parentheses for our next category, which is exponents. We do have exponents right there. 4 squared is 4 times 4. That's 16. 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Bring down our work. Now we have a subtraction, division, and a multiplication. Remember, multiplication divisions are in the third category, and you have to perform the operations working left to right, whichever comes first. In this case, the division came first, so we must perform that operation. That's 8 divided by 4, which is 2, and then we bring down our work. Now we have a subtraction and a multiplication symbol. We must perform the multiplication first. 2 times 3 is 6. Bring down your work, and 16 subtract 6 is 10. There you go. So that's enough for now. We'll see you again soon.